Marvin Vines is a dedicated high school counselor from 9 to 5, but his evenings are spent consumed by his true passion, art. Though his works have received numerous awards, making a living from his art is still an impossibility. I went and said, my art is going to make me a living. Then I'd be starving. Like many black artists, Vines had a difficult time getting his work accepted, but he refused to lay his brushes down. I love my art so much that uh, if it took me telling myself, hey, I'm not about the business of showing, I'm not about the business of making money, I'm about the business creating, that was the psych I ran on myself. It worked, because I still created. I don't consider myself any different from any other artist, white, black, green, whatever. It's just the imagery that I create, part of my experience, just happens to be an imagery that uh, either folks won't accept, don't accept, or can't accept. Vines has only recently been able to gain any recognition as a serious artist after 16 years in the profession. I guess a lot of folks began to see that maybe what I created was not just a piece of uh, stuff created by a black person, but it was art. According to Vines, there were many times when it would have been easier to give up. I'll give you an example. Uh, the Toledo Museum May Show It's probably the most prestigious show in the, uh, this area. It's a competitive artist show. I competed in that show, uh, submitted for that show seven years, rejected seven times. Uh, it's frustrating. Finally, I got accepted. A piece of mind got accepted into the show. It was an award winner. More than winning awards, Vines would like his art to make a contribution. Destroying myths and stereotypes is one of his major priorities. It's one of the motivating factors that keep me painting is I've got to destroy in my own way that imagery. One of the things that I work in ex extensively, and that's the black male, I think a lot of people are afraid of because they don't understand. If they see a positive imagery of them, hopefully that imagery, that positive vision will transfer when they see another, let's say a black man. Even closer to the heart is the black teenager. There's a statement that needs to be made, especially about black young black kids. Uh, my experience is that a lot of people have a fear, um, a fear that isn't really well founded. And that's why his next series of paintings will focus on the black team. And I hope with these paintings, these series that I'm doing is to put them on canvas and to present them in a way that they have not fear that these kids elicit or these images elicit. It's kind of like a hope, uh, energy, uh, just a positive imagery.